Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome and welcome back. I'm here today with a little project, and it is a little project. It's some little mini journals. Rather cute, I think. <laughs> That's a good start, isn't it? I'm dropping prototype, yeah? And I've made them from these little, I think you call them seed packet envelopes in US. These are actually what we use for dinner money envelopes in UK. Oh, that one's printed really wonky, isn't it? Be right we're gonna cover it up yeah it'll be right so yeah i'm gonna make this cute tiny little journal from one of those i've decorated this one a little bit inside i've not gone to town i've got a little pocket i've put a bit of ephemera in i've just used some paper scraps for pages i used another scrap there is a belly band put a little ticket there and there's a pocket there with a little ticket and that's the flap that fastens around front I think these are quite sweet and they're very quick and very easy and you can decorate them as little or as much as you like so pop that one there I did that one without a flap on I don't flap over but I've not finished this one either it's not decorated all I've done is pop the paper in I've just used five paper scraps we've still got that pocket there so yeah I think you'll be able to work out how I did it, but I'll show you how I did both. Right, let's grab a couple of these envelopes. I'm going to grab one that's not... I thought it were my eyes then that got a bit wonky, but they're not They're not like high-quality items, are they? Right, we've got a couple there that aren't as wonky. I think it'll make his job easier. Right, first off, decide if you're going to make it with a flap or without one. I'm going to do this one with a flap. So I'm going to fold these over, this over where its natural crease line is. And then I'm going to fold, stop twisting it up and down you silly woman. And I'm going to fold that in there. That's going to be front at journal. So I just want to make sure that that will fold over. So if I do that first before I make my crease from his spine, then we know all's going to be well and it's going to fit. I'll grab my bone folder now and just get it, give it a crease. If you're going to ink it, now's your point to ink it. Um, yeah, ink, there it is. I was reaching then for where I normally keep my ink. Then it's like, oh, I've got it out ready. I've somehow got a bit of glitter on my ink pad. <laughs> Don't know I did that. So I'm just going to quickly go around and ink all the edges. I'm still liking my new ink blending foams, by the way. They're not the original Tim Holtz, well, Ranger ones, but I think loads of people do these now. I am using the Ranger handle, but I just got some cheaper phones because, yeah, they were expensive. I think it's when um, exchange rate went a bit mad as well. Right. I'm going to do that. This sticky on these is not much to write home about. If you're worried that that could end up sticking to the front, just line that with a bit of paper. I'm not so worried because <laughs> I've used these for dinner money. You can't get them to stick if you lick them or wet them. So I'm not worried that these are going to stick by accident because it, I had a tough enough time getting them to stick when I wanted them to. Right, so that's all my inking done. And I'm just going to decorate the front with some bits and bobs. I've got, that's all my papers I've got out. I've got all my scraps out to make pages. Lots of those. Oh, plenty of those, more than I thought. Sorry if I'm a bit close. I want it to be quite close for the making the itty bitty books. And I'm using a lot of my Tim Holtz snippets because they're just the perfect size for these teeny tiny books. Right. I've got, yes, I've got this. This was a sheet of Tim Holtz 12 by 12. It don't fit in, I'm that close, I'm that zoomed in. And I wheeled over it with my chair, look. <laughs> I'm really good at doing that. So I'm just going to cut that up. I'm not even going to bother using trimmer. I'm going to cut it along its... This is one of those sheets where it's got, three, six, twelve. 12. It's designed to make 12 little journal cards. But it's good for something like this because it just gives you a bit more variety. 
So you've got 12 different patterns. I'll cut those two off. I will still use the crease, but I'll make something rather aged looking with that. Cut that. And we'll cut that. Look at me not using my trimmer. How brave am I then? Bring this back in. Now I'm going to decide what I want on the front. I'm going to stick with my same formula. A backing piece, a piece of ephemera and then a label. So I like that with tickets. Ooh, I like that as well. I think that bit would look nice on my little flap. And that bit would look nice on the front. So yeah. So I'm just, no measuring. I will tell you the size of envelopes. I'm going to have people wondering, aren't I? But again, it doesn't matter what size I'm using. That is two and three quarter inches when folded by two inches. So the actual envelope is two and three quarters by, I'm guessing, four, smidging over four. So that'll give you an idea at scale, the scale of the project today. Right, that's going to go there. I like that. Put it right up to edge if you want. Sorry, I don't know that one. Oh, here she is again. Very vocal, aren't you, Gertie? And she doesn't know much. I've never known anyone pipe in so often to tell you they know a note. I'm just marking it where I want to cut and marking it there where I want to cut. I am going to be brave because this paper's got checks on and I'm going to cut it with my scissors. Whee. Another way you can do it, in fact I'll do it, we've cut the width. I'm quite happy with width now, am I? Yeah, I suppose so. Coming, I've got mini because in a twist. Right, that looks good. So I'll just utch it up a little bit and then use that edge as a guide to cut. I've found that's working quite good for me. Then I can utch it back down, stick it on. Yay! No trimmers, no measuring. How brave am I getting? But I do think I want to round those corners. I'm shouting now because I'm turned round away from camera looking for my circle punch. <laughs> I'm back. I've no idea what that's going to sound like. I must listen to that before I put this video out there. Right, can you hear me, mother? That were a comedian's catchphrase. I can't think who it was. A British comedian from yesteryear. Way back when. Oh, it's going to annoy me till I think who it is. Oh, my, oh, my. Right. Oh, I like that. I really do like that. So that's going to glue on there. And then I'm going to use... Oh, it's such a shame to use that on a flap. Here's when that something could I be... found on the web. Oh, my word. While healthiness depends on personal health considerations, mm -hmm. one piece of Battenberg cake has as 36.5% <laughs> of the daily recommended intake of saturated fat. Could have a cup of tea with this cake. 8% of the daily recommended intake of cholesterol. Mm, really? 4% of the daily recommended intake of sodium. And 40.3 grams of total sugar. I'm going to sleep better now and I know all this. your question? You don't, what question, Alexa? What question? Bye. Sorry, I'm not sure. Well, she really is in fine form. So I just had a couple of sips of my tea while she was going on about Battenberg cake. Did you hear me ask about Battenberg cake? Oh, no, I'm not going to use that as a strip there because that's just so pretty in itself. I think that needs to be... On the front of a journal, doesn't it? It just does. So I'm going to stick with that bit. And then I'm going to get a much more boring bit. Maybe that bit. Well, not boring, but I just don't want to use that bit. I'm going to use that bottom bit there. So I'm going to pop that. Not quite up to the crease. I'm just going to move it in a few millimetres. Yeah, then I'm going to turn over. And I'm going to cut. Because what I want, if you look at this one, I want to shape that piece of paper to my little flap. I can always cut it shorter if I need to. I can't make it longer. Yeah, I'm gonna need might need to cut that a bit shorter. But what I'm gonna do now is I've got that the way up I want it. Oh, <laughs> like so. And I'm just going to place the flap on and I'm going to draw just around one edge. 
and then I'm going to guess this and I'm going to move it up a few millimetres if you'll be following what I'm doing and I'm going to draw around the bottom and then I'm going to follow that line and hopefully we should have a piece of cardstock that's going to fit on the flap I want cake now thanks Alexa oh. Shh, don't say anything and we've just said a real world name oh, I like that I'm going to ink it and stick it remember Julie you're not going for perfection you're going for straight enough I'm beginning to love the look of it not being quite perfect if that well that will make sense to a lot of you right so that's gonna no it's not gonna stick that way it's gonna stick that way yay and then this bit it's gonna stick on there and we've decorated the front that really doesn't need much does it just I think I might even just put a butterfly or something up there right, I'm using my art glitter glue to stick I decant it into a teeny tiny bottle because I'm a very heavy handed person. Since using this bottle I use about half as much glue. It allows me to get the thin bead a lot easier. And I just don't use as much glue. I'm a little bit more controlled. I've got that same kind of every hand when I'm, uh, yeah, putting chocolate in my mouth. <laughs> and Bamberg cake. Ooh. Right, pop that on. I will be having a chocolate cake today, yum yum yum, because my girl is turned 16 today, 16, wow. Now before all my US people start saying, ooh, 16, we don't actually, 16's not as big a birthday in UK as it is in US, you have the sweet 16, don't you? We don't have any of that, I'm sure we will in a few years, we've got proms and everything now. <laughs> And even in my day, do you know, we didn't used to celebrate Halloween to ne not nearly as much as we do now. Yeah, since we've had internet, we uh, can see all the fun you're having of a pond and we're like, yeah, we'll have some of that. So anyway, yeah, sweets, it's not 18 is the big birthday here. And then again, 21. 16 is, yeah, it's not really. I'm not saying it's not a big deal, but. It's not as much of a big deal, I think, as it is over in the US. If that makes any sense whatsoever. Waffle, waffle. Right, and while I was waffling, I just stuck that on. Right, I'm now going to, while that dries, before I do anything else, I'm going to rip up some bits of paper to put in as pages. I've always got loads of scraps. Loads of scraps. I know I've got some that are already right size because I ripped extra up yesterday. And I've got some scraps of straw paper that seem right, yeah, they're a pretty decent size. Put everything all tidy, here we go. That's it. I've even cut some little bits of twine to the correct length. Let's put that over there. Right. There's my little book. If you're unsure how big to make your pages, what I do is this. Put that inside, just shorten my spine, then fold it. And you know that's the width you're looking at. Oh, I've cut that a bit wonky. So that will fit in perfectly as a page. And then decide, do I want my other slightly bigger or slightly smaller or just the same? I think that needs to be the biggest one I have. I'm going to grab one of these. Oh, fingers and thumbs. That can go in. I want a stripey page. What am I like? Oh, let's have a stripey page. I think we call it a lined page, Julie. Ooh, give me one of your lovely notebooks full of stripy pages. Silly woman. I'm going to cut that there. Oh, that was a good guess. So we've now got three pages. And I like a bit of variety in my life. That's another coffee dyed one. I think I'll make that one a bit shorter. Yeah, which is right way. 
I don't know which way is up and which way is down. And then we can have a little flap on that page, a little fold out, nothing wrong with that. I've not gone to town decorating pages. That, I'll leave that to your personal preference if you're going to make one. So that's four pages, I want one more. And I think I might use a bit of this lime paper, that looks good doesn't it? I've already got a bit of a crease there. Use that side, so I'm going to pop that in there. I can see with light from the window. But I'm just making this a little bit bigger than all other pages. And then just going to trim it down a little bit more. So it matches. There we go. Where should we put you, mate? I don't want you on art side. I think I'll put you next to art side with some straw paper in front of you. Yeah, I like that. I do. I know I don't like that. So next bit is you spend three days twiddling with your paper. So you're happy. There we go. I'm happy with that. Oh, that only just fits. Only just, but it does. I think I just need to trim that one down that I've just done. Just take it out, woman. Take it out, trim it down properly and stop faffing. Much faffage. There we go. And you do whatever method you use to get your papers right size. I just like a little bit of a faff now and again. Right, now, I'm happy with that. So... To, to uh, yeah, as a closure, I've used a little bit of this. It's the two ply jute twine. I'll tell you how long this bit is. I just put a bit on my first book and then I measured these to the same length. It happens to be, let's pull to there. It happens to be 15 inches long, if that helps, if you're using the same envelopes. Now, I arrange my little pages in there till I'm happy. Yeah, I think I'm happy with those. They just keep falling out. Big fingers, little projects, mm, not always ideal partners. <laughs> I'm faffing more than yesterday. I'm cackling. Sound like a witch. Well, it is Halloween coming up, isn't it? I can have a cackle. It's it's my journal, and I'll cackle if I want to. Right. So. I'm just going to find where the middle of my bit of rope is. Rope. And I'm going to put that there. Yeah. Then I'm going to grab my stapler, which were very good and put away. There we go. Making sure that the centre of my pages stay there, the centre of my book. And I want to get the staple over that jute because it's going to then hold my pages in and hold my closure. That looks good. And oh, I did it good. Right. So that's that. We've got our pocket there, our flap that's also decorated. And we've now got our twine. Now, I did it this way. I put the twine on before I finished decorating the front. And I'll tell you why. If you look at this first one I made, I was not quite happy where my twine went in relation to my little mushroom. Had I been decorating it after, I would have put my mushroom a little higher up or a little lower down. Yeah, that's, that's just a picky thing though, isn't it? So in this one, yeah, the bottom, I don't think it needs much. Maybe a little bit more of red. And top needs, that needs something, doesn't it? And I'm thinking maybe a butterfly. I know it's not butterfly type paper, but we, Tim Holtz likes to mix his uh, geometric patterns and his vintage tickets and papers with butterflies and flowers, doesn't he? So, yeah, we'll carry on in that theme. Let's have a look, see what we've got in the box. Look at the state of my desk. I've made one book and my desk already looks like, I don't know, like someone's rifled it looking for some yeah it were me oh dear well I like that got a little square label there 
Have I put them on upside down? Maybe. Does it matter? Not really. Yeah, I think I did. Oh, well. I'm not too fussed. Tell you what, I might put something there. <laughs> yeah, you don't notice it's upside down if I put something there, but that's so not bright enough. I need something brighter. I'm thinking I might go for something green, actually. Oh, yeah, I like that. I like that green. And I'll pop it over that so you don't know it's upside down. And then at top, I don't know whether to have a butterfly or some wordage. I like that. <laughs> Wheeler, London. E Wheeler. I think that's just so appropriate because I'm always saying we. But I don't like the look of two tickets like that. So we will put that on, but not this one. Yeah, this needs a butterfly or a mushroom again. I'm a bit stuck on mushrooms. Oh, I like that butterfly. Oh, I do like that. That really gives it a pop of colour, doesn't it? I'm not too bothered that that's upside down. That's going to go there. And I may change my mind on that one. I like, yeah, I like that better. It goes better with the butterfly. Right, I'm just going to ink the edges and stick them on. Decorating, it's up to you. Decorating has not been my strong suit lately. I know it and I've been, <clears throat> ah, shall I, shan't I, second guessing myself. And I know it's lack of practice. I need to practice more, to get more crafting done. Woman. Right. I've decided I want to put something under the butterfly now. But I've already put glue on butterfly, so I was a bit late deciding that, wasn't I? <laughs> well, hey ho, what do you know? No, just put butterfly on, woman, stop faffing. There, stick it on. Butterfly, it looks like it's floating in air. Guess what? It's a butterfly. That's fine. I'm going to tie this. Yeah, me decorating is very... Ooh, at the moment. So I need to faff more. More faffage on the way. Oh, I like that. I, don't, I just want something, but I don't know what I want. I keep changing my mind about this one. I don't think that's it. That's not the one, you know. Ooh. I think maybe that could be it. That's it. I'm sticking it on for a change of mind. We've got that pop of colour now, haven't we? And butterfly with orange and blue. Have you ever seen anyone take so long to decide where to stick a label? Crazy, aren't I? There we go. Right, we'll open that back up. And I will pop a belly band and a pocket in here. Now, for my pocket at front, I just grabbed any old scrap of card. You could even use one of these larger labels. Let me get one from a larger set. I could make a pocket out of that. I think I may make a pocket out of a ticket. Oh, no, they fit perfectly in the pocket, so we'll keep that as that. Ah, that would make a good bit of ephemera to go in the pocket. I'm going to use this as a pocket. Yeah, but I don't want to use all of it. So I'm going to cut a bit off the top. Then I'm just going to grab something that's shaped. Not that. Something round. I used something round last time. I had like a semicircle journal card somewhere on my desk. And I drew around it to make the shape of the top of the pocket. Yay, I found it. Here it is. <laughs> so, I just put it across the corner like that. Just so I've got something to follow around with my scissors. To get that semicircular look on just one corner of the pocket. Here you go. There we go. I like that. Now, I'm going to lose some of that side at pocket, which I don't mind. I still want to see the men, you see. I like the men. This is a, I'll line that up with edge and use that as a guide for trimming some more. 
there we go and I'm now just going to take a smidgen off this corner because the corners on that envelope aren't perfectly square and I don't want this to stick out being sharp but then I don't want to round the whole thing with the corner rounder either right grab some ink woman ink it up and that's going to become a pocket there I'm going to glue along the two sides well the side and the bottom like I say you do what you want in here this is just how I've done it he's going to make perfect little bits and bobs to go in with my orders oh thank you all for your orders I've had quite a lot of orders this week uh, yeah I think it was mentioning that if you do order from me let me know that you've seen me on YouTube because you'll get better freebies than just random people who find me on Etsy <laughs> I'll know you're not randos yeah you're not random people so thank you for your lovely messages. I got my knickers in a bit of a twist, losing track of who I'd replied to and who I hadn't. Because when you reply via order thing, it, it somehow doesn't go with all your other messages. And I got a bit confused, not new for me. So I've decided if you do leave me a message, if it's just a thank you and it's just to let me know that uh, you watch me on YouTube, I'm answering those as I process the order, yeah? Um, pack it up and do the postage label then I don't get confused as to who I have replied to and who I haven't because I started replying to messages as soon as I got them then I had a busy day and didn't reply to messages and you know how it goes you just know I always need a system or I will forget to do things I'm a very you wouldn't think it watching me sometimes but I need a routine and a system and things have to be done in a particular order. Right, oh, I like that. Look at them. Jolly little chappies. I'm not even going to stick a label on them. It might take me three years to decide on what label to use. Right, I inked that up while I was rabbiting. Because the, oh, that doesn't perfectly fit. Because there's a little bit of extra that needs ripping off. These are the ones from the Tim Holtz book of tickets. This one were kindly uh, gifted to me by... Zoe, yep, Zoe over at Paper Eve Creations. Hello, Zoe. Hope you're still alive. I am. We need to catch up. <laughs> Me and Zoe have never met, but we have a talk on the phone every now and again. We live about eight miles from each other, and we've never met. I've met her husband, as I keep saying. <laughs> oh dear, because he came over to drop some happy mail off for me. I find that quite mad. Oh, look at that. That would make a rather big belly band, but it'd be rather good as well. I'm just going to use something that's going to be a quite a, a thinner belly band. What we got? I'm just going to use a scrap of paper. What's left here? Oh, I'm going to use a bit of this map because then it'll match the little bit of map on there. Now, I'm still not 100% sure about that front, but as I say, decorating and me, we're just not going on at a minute. I think I want that bit. And I'm going to get my trimmer out for this because trying to cut a strip off like that for a belly band with scissors, it's just not going to happen. I know it's going to be a disaster, so I ain't going to do it. Right, I've now got a strip that's straight. And it goes that way. Why do I want to put everything on upside down lately? Oh yeah, we'll get the South America on and a ticket. I like that. So I'll just mark that with my pencil. In fact, just fold it, woman. Fold it. And cut it where you folded. Does that look good? That looks perfect. And cut along there. Yeah. <clears throat> Give it some inking. So these are very quick when you don't stop to have a random conversation with Alexa about Battenberg cake. You don't waffle and you don't lose everything on your desk like I do. I think I made three in time. It's just took me to make one yesterday. But it's not always a race, is it? Some days I'm tortoise, some days I'm hare. And I think I'm most definitely the hare today. Hare today, gone tomorrow. Oh, it's just so cute. What is it about small things <laughs> that fascinate us? Right, let's grab a nice little piece of ephemera to chuck in there. I'll let you have a no nosy. What we got? Oh, I'm looking at that. 
I don't know if that's sometimes just my little off cuts end up in here. But I think that I like it and that's going in. It was just an off cut from a piece of paper. I've got a folder somewhere with lots of Timmy um, off cuts in from the papers and I've filed it away so safely, so safely, can't find it. Right, so that's that. I've got some in both pockets, well, three pockets. There's one, two, three pockets. That is so sweet. I mean, you could give that as a gift in itself. I'm sure you could you could fill some money up and stick it in pocket. Yeah, you could. You could perhaps even if you've been really cheap, <laughs> you could fit a coin in. Look at me being really cheap. Oh lord. Ooh. Yeah, I dread to think how much uh, tooth fairy rate is these days. When my kids were at school, they got a pound and they had friends who were getting five. I'm like, no, that's just far too much money for losing a tooth. I'll just snip that down a little bit. I like that, yeah. When it's closed up and the string's on, I like the butterfly there and the little label. But boy, didn't that take some, yeah, sorting out. Right, I'm just going to make one like this now. In fact, I'll just show you how I made it. I'm not going to decorate it because that's just took so long, hasn't it? And then I'll quickly show you how to make one of these seed packet style envelopes. I don't know if I've done it in a video. Right, this time I'm going to fold that on its crease. Is that that wonky one I've picked up? It is. Throw it away, get another. Wow. It'll send my eyes funny using wonky one. Right, make a crease. And then this time, what well, all I do is put a little bit of art glitter around the edge of the flap squiddly diddly in the middle and then I'm going to fold that flap in and glue it down there just make sure I've not glued that together no I haven't I did really well so that then becomes a pocket and you can put your journal together and have that pocket on the front or on the back now the reason I had mine at the back on these was because of the writing on here. I didn't mind, if you look at back at journal you can see those lines, that don't bother me. But I didn't want words upside down. I'm not quite there yet with my upside down words, even though I've put an upside down ticket on my journal cover. That was a happy accident, wasn't it? So, fold that over. And there we have the makings of another little journal. A pocket there. Hey, that's so easy and simple. My brain couldn't take out complicated today. Right, I'm just going to quickly show you how to make a seed packet envelope. And I'm going to make mine from a sheet of 6x6 scrapbook paper. You can make them any size you want, but I like what we end up with from the sheet of 6x6. Two ticks while I grab it. And I'm back. I've zoomed out a little bit as well so you can see me make this better right i've got some six by six pieces this was actually a 12 by 12 you know it's the one of the tim Oates ones where there's four separate sections and i've cut them up to make six by sixes right which one shall i make it from i'm not too bothered about what way up things end up it don't bother me much anymore i'll use that one right from a six by six you can end up with a seed packet roughly the same size as one of these let's get the seed packet out it's not going to be exact and if you use a bigger piece of paper you'll end up with a slightly bigger one a smaller piece a slightly smaller one right so let's look at how this is constructed so i'm going to take one edge of my paper and i'm going to fold it over and i'm going to make it that's about half an inch a quarter to half an inch longer on the one underneath but again i'm not measuring i'm just telling you what that is i'm just i'm not measuring i'm just telling you then i'm going to fold that over Can you see just up to that edge use your scoreboard if you want to for this but me and measuring a yeah, having a little bit of a break from each other. <laughs> we fell out. Well, we haven't fell out. 
just find it so much more fun not measuring then can you see that will overlap onto there so that's where we're going to get the height of our book which look at that it's actually perfect and i didn't set out to make it exactly the same i set out to make it good enough now decide that's going to be my front i like that as my front now we're going to have to seal this end up if you were making this from scratch though you wouldn't you could have another pocket there if you didn't seal that end up but for today's purposes we're making this as though it is a policy envelope so i'm going to fold that over that's the top edge well it will be that edge yeah the left edge folded it over about an inch don't have to be an inch can be less can be more this is going to be your individual policy envelope then i'm going to fold that over just where that line is because i think it looked good there I hope you're following this. Slow it down if you're not. I watch a lot of YouTube slowed down. So I'll take my piece of paper back to the start and show you what I did. Right, I folded it in half like so. The front edge was about half inch shorter than the back edge. Yeah. Then I opened it up and I folded the side in. I folded that. Oh yeah, I did folded that over so that we can stick that to that then I folded one edge about an inch and the other edge about half an inch you can see that's not exact but it don't matter don't matter now we're going to gonna cut some bits off we're going to cut off some bits we don't need so if I just score these fold lines so you can see them better it'll also be easy for you to see which bits we're going to cut and which bits we're going to keep yeah right so we're going to cut off that bit we don't need it we're going to cut off that bit <laughs> that bit and that bit yeah so we're cutting off the four corners basically I'm going to grab my ooh, nice new sharp Tim Holtz scissors. Thank you very much. Cut those out. You just get them cut out, then you can decide if you're going to do any fancy shapes on them. Oh, I'm in the ruler move then and scared me to death. Scared me, it did. we've made really a strange little cross shape and there. I didn't cut that one very good I really needed my big scissors to cut something quite so long there we go now I'm going to take my corner rounder and I'm going to round these using my medium one I had to fold that over so I could get it in right now we almost have a policy envelope so I'm going to grab some glue and I'm going to put glue along that thin no not that side of thin flap you silly woman along outside of that thin flap derpy derp The top edge I'm paying most attention to on the bottom. And then we'll glue that down. Then I'm going to glue that over there. Just going to take a little bit off here. Just so it folds nicely. These scissors are so sharp. I got these in Happy Mail, thank you. Muchly. Yeah, I get anonymous happy mail sometimes because if it's from Amazon, people uh, can't always put a message on. I don't know why that works and it doesn't sometimes. And I think Pamela bought me once a pair. Yeah, 
that's how I ended up with some to give away. Right, so that is now, it's a policy envelope, isn't it? There you go. So if you want to make a journal out of it, you can. Do you know what? I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it as a policy envelope. But I'll bring my original envelope back in. And can you see there's not much difference in the size there at all. So if you want to make one this sort of size, start off with 6x6 paper, slow my instructions down to watch them. And that's what you'll end up with. Right, now I think I'm going to call it a day. We've got three cute little journals with flaps on and one without and I have no idea where it's gone. There we go. So we've made that one today and these are the two I'd made previously. I really hope you enjoyed that. Those of you who say you like to wear my waffle, boy have you had a waffle fest today. So there you go. How to make a little journal from a policy envelope. A mini seed packet. It's not a policy envelope. Why am I calling it that? It's a little seed packet envelope and also how to make a seed packet envelope. I'll put a timestamp on these, which I should have said at the beginning, so that if you want to make the envelope first to then turn into a journal, you just fold it. But like I say, I'm going to keep that as a policy envelope or even a seed packet. Julie, shut up. You're talking absolute rubbish. Your, your tongue's just, it's been very wayward now, isn't it? So I will love you and leave you and I hope you enjoy that and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.